What's up, YouTube fans? Well, you know what it is. It's another edition of Four Tips with Clips, where we took a look, take a look at the good, we take a look at the bad, and hopefully at the end of it, we have learned something. Before I jump into this, though, and get into the film action and break things down, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell so you don't miss out on another great DB video like this one. Also, if you're trying to raise your game to the elite level, you have to, have to, have to, have to join the All Eyes DB Camp members area. I've got close to 200 videos in there right now going over everything from coverages to drills to tips to tricks, everything you need to be the best DB you can be. So go ahead and hit the link in the description and join the All Eyes DB Camp members area today. All right, well, let's start this thing off with some good. One of my favorite backs in the league. I might be a little bit biased because he trains with me, but this is Xavier Howard. The man just gets his hands on the football. What can I say? But let's just talk about this. And the, This is just indicative of the ways that he goes about um, his craft and how he is able to produce at the level that he is able to produce. It's just a certain amount of intelligence that he has. you got to have a football IQ when you're out there on this field. So checking this video out, we obviously we have a wide split by the receiver here. He takes an inside release on this wide split. So, you know, it would lead you to believe, not always 100% true, but it would lead you to believe that we're going to have an inside breaking route. The good thing here and the best thing that Xavier does here is you see how he's trailing. He knows he's got help over the top here from a safety that you will see up here in the screen. With that being the case, there he is. With that being the case, no reason for him to be up here. He knows the coverage, knows where his help is. Something I always tell my guys, know where your help is. It'll make you better in man coverage. Man coverage is not always you completely on an island. Sometimes you have help, and it's in your best interest to use it. Now, had the receiver taken an outside release, then maybe he would have made a little bit more of an effort to stay on the hip or over the top because that's a little longer run for the safety, and you know you might not get that safety help. But since this route has taken an inside trajectory, there is the time, the ability for him to stay up underneath this because if he breaks underneath the route and the receiver continues deeper, there is a safety right there. So using this good sense, of knowing where his help is and having an idea of what type of routes are run, look at what he's able to do. He trails a low hip, receiver cuts in as kind of expected, and there he is. And one thing about him is he doesn't miss when he gets these opportunities. Always relaxed with the hands, takes this thing right in, and then it's easy pickings from there, so to speak. So really, really good job by Xavier, knowing where his help is and getting the job done. Now on to a little bit of bad right here. Here we have a, if you're watching the offense in this one, it is a flea flicker, a common trick play that you might see in the NFL, definitely with a team that runs the ball as much as the Tennessee Titans do. But we're going to take our focus to what's happening out here on the outside with Sidney Jones and the wide receiver, A.J. Brown. Sometimes you get beat on a double move, as we are seeing right here. A.J. Brown's going to come off the ball. He's going to stutter step, and then he's going to take off. He's all right, double move happens you bite on it yes because you know you want to be aggressive but i'm going to show you where sydney jones went wrong on this okay yes got your eyes frozen in the backfield it'll happen sometimes when you are fooled on that double move it is in your best interest to get vertical right now go protect the first down go protect the touchdown go protect that right now when teams run a double move they want the big play take the big play away immediately what you're going to notice Sidney Jones do is take those two or three steps to his outside and this is what kills him you're going to notice him start running over to AJ Brown before he starts getting vertical and that's where he died on this route watch it instead of getting vertical right now he goes and runs to AJ Green's hip right now AJ Brown sorry um, AJ Brown's hip right now and he is facing this way as AJ Brown is facing that way it won't be long before he gets beyond you, and now you're going to be in a really, really bad position. Instead of taking these few steps out here before getting up the field, Sidney Jones would have been a whole lot better off planting his foot, getting straight up the field, and he probably would have been 
over the top of A.J. Brown because A.J. made that move rather early and he could have been working top down on this route instead of being underneath it. Those two, three steps out there really did him in. And now look at the bad position that he's in. If I could kind of close up on this thing. All right, look at the position that he's in now. A.J. Brown is ahead of him, all right, and he's pretty much got him stacked. That's always bad news when that happens. Let's follow this through. Now he's in a bad position on a big receiver, as we're going to see in the next clip. Not the position you want to be in on a big, strong guy like this. This is not the position you want to be in. Now A.J. can use a little bit of his size, and it's a well-placed ball, all right, and A.J. does make a great catch. But all of this could have been avoided if Sidney Jones would have stayed, uh, would have gotten vertical and been in an upfield position. He may have even been able to cut the route off. Here's another from the volume of bad. All right. I understand that this is Stefan Diggs, one of the best receivers in the league, and he's matched up on a safety right here. This would put fear um, in most safeties' heart, man. But you're in the NFL. You've got to trust your technique. You've got to trust your technique on this thing. And just watch the safety bail out. Of, you see, we've got about six, seven yards here. And the safety's already bailing out of his pedal. He is opening and committing himself to this side of the field. All right? Of course, you're going to get your blind spot attacked. Even if the route was supposed to be to this side of the field, let's say it was a corner route, I guarantee you, Stefan Diggs would have threatened this side Get the DB to spin all the way around since he's opened his hips too soon and then break it out here. But as such, it was easy for Stefan Diggs here. This is too early, folks, to bail out of your pedal. Weave, stay in your pedal, trust your feet, stay square as long as possible. Quarterback doesn't have all day to throw this ball. So the basic thing here is he was out of this pedal way too soon. Now he's got a speed turn and try to come back downhill naturally. Stefan Diggs is going to flatten this route out a little bit and make it easy. This is a really big window to put that ball in. Really huge window. I mean, you just can't miss on that. Even though this DB did get back into it, he would have been a whole lot better off staying square and giving the D-line and whoever, you know, whatever pressure was coming a chance to get to the quarterback and he would have been better off breaking on this. All right, let's end this thing on a good note. Tennessee Titans, this is veteran defensive back Janoris Jenkins, has played a lot of football in this league. You're going to see him do a fine job of doing what it is that I always tell young receivers to do. There is a imaginary circle around a wide receiver. I like to call it a Madden circle because you guys play Madden. And this ball, uh, when we've got this deep ball like this, all right, and this is a bigger receiver, I mean, Joris is, Norris is about a 5'10". This is a big wide receiver. This guy's about 6'2", maybe, maybe even more than that. You see what Janoris is doing? He is getting in this wide receiver's circle. He is in his chest. This really prohibits his ability to go up the way that he wants, attack the ball with his hands the way that he wants. He is in his chest, and then the other good thing that Janoris does is get his head around so we don't draw any flags. And if there's one thing Janoris Jenkins is going to do is look for the football. But um, I can't say enough. Let me slow this down for you guys uh, on, on how he did a great job of getting into this receiver's chest as that ball is coming, getting his head around, and it just really disrupts his ability to go up the way that he wants, attack the football the way that he wants. See, it's a little awkward for the receiver because there's a man in his chest as the ball is coming. Great job by Janoris Jenkins staying on his hip and then getting into his circle, into his chest, and deflecting this ball with his head. Sometimes, you know, they tell you use your head. That's a good way to use your head. All right, so that's the end of it. Two good ones, two bad ones. I hope you guys got something out of this. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment on here. Let me know which one of these uh, plays you got the most out of or any comments that you may have on this. I'll also take any questions that you may have on anything that I went over here or any technique that you saw, anything that you saw the DBs and wide receivers doing in this video. Hey, once again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Also, give this video a like and a share. I really, really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow and we are approaching 20,000 subscribers here 
on this channel and really really appreciate all the support from you guys so um, and before we leave go ahead and hit the link in the description check out the all eyes db camp members area take your game to the elite level all right appreciate you all checking this out and as always all eyes db camp consistency breeds results